Hello there. My name is Dave Koz. I play the saxophone, which looks like this. And I'm here today to say hello to all of my friends in the Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete area, and to read a book for you, a children's book. Uh, this one's called Grumpy Monkey, because I'm pretty sure that there are some grumpy kids in Florida right now. In fact, all over the world. <laughs> Because we're in um, isolation, we're in quarantine, we're, our lives are upended a little bit. It's not normal, but we are going to get through it. And the best way we can do that is to support each other. And I'm here for you, like you're here for me. And I'm ready to read this story for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Grumpy Monkey. One wonderful day, Jim Panzee woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabu. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabu. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabu. It's such a wonderful day. But look at how you're standing, Marabu said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. There he is. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone, everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. But Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. All the different animals giving Jim some advice. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. <laughs> That's good advice. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. And you know what Jim said? I'm not grumpy. Jim shouted as he beat his chest and he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupine, said Norman. <laughs> Are you okay? Asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. So if you're feeling grumpy, let it all out. There's a siren going on right now. <laughs> Somebody's probably grumpy down there. Anyway, I wish you the best, you and your family, the very, very, very best on this uh, through. Wow. 
That sounded like a fire truck. Anyway, I hope everybody's okay. And I hope you are okay. And remember to smile through it all, even if you feel grumpy, because we all have grumpy, grumpy days. Uh, but we get through it. We are going to get through it. I send my very best to you and your family, and thank you for listening. Bye-bye. By the way, you know what I like to do if I feel grumpy? I like to play the saxophone. Yeah, music. Playing music always makes me feel better. It's guaranteed. Check it out. Ooh, yeah, that feels better. <laughs> keep on reading and keep listening to music and feel good. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's book, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.